the 20th Saberni Command was originally designed to provide a chemical biological rapid response capability in response to the attacks of 9-11. The command was activated as the 20th Support Command on October 16, 2004 at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland and was officially designated as the 20th Saberni Command on October 16, 2013 to more accurately reflect the command's unique mission. The 20th Saberni Command deploys to support unified land operations and performs mission command for Army and or Joint Seaburn and EOD forces to achieve national counterweapons of mass destruction, homeland defense, and defense support to civil authorities while providing globally responsive Seaburn and EOD forces to combatant commands. Subordinate commands of the 20th Saberni have supported the combatant commands in operations and contingencies throughout the world including ongoing operations in the United States, Panama, the Balkans, Afghanistan, and Iraq. The 20th Saberni Command provides the Army and the nation a scalable and tailored Saberni response capability with the flexibility to operate in a variety of environments, from urban areas to austere sites across the broad range of military operations. 20th Saberni Command was a response to our national security concern uh, after 9-11. We didn't have a, a single command responsible for responding to a weapons of mass destruction event. The 20th Saberni Command is the Department of Defense's only organization with both specialized Saberne and EOD capabilities and expertise to operate effectively across the full spectrum of chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive hazards. It comprises 85% of the Army's active component explosive ordnance disposal and chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosive units. The 20th Saberni Command is a highly technical, special purpose, expeditionary unit with approximately 5,000 soldiers and 225 civilians stationed across 16 states and 19 installations. This organization consists of a Seaburn Brigade, two EOD groups, the Saberni Analytical Remediation Activity, known as CARA, nuclear disablement teams called NDTs, Saberni Coordination Element, known as CCE, the Consequence Management Unit, CMU, the First Area Medical Laboratory, and the Command Exercises Training and Readiness Oversight for the U.S. Army Reserve's 415th Seaburn Brigade, as well as the Army National Guard's 31st Seaburn Brigade and 111th EOD Group. The risk of weapons of mass destruction along with the continued threat and expanded use of the improvised explosive device, IED, and the acquisition, proliferation, and prevalence of the asymmetrical Saberni threats has intensified across the globe. And what the 20th Saberni Command has is it has chemical capability. It has a Seaburn element. It has a nuclear disablement element. It has an EOD element. And when you coalesce these capabilities, you're able to execute across the entire threat spectrum. The 20th Saberni Command's unique capabilities and expertise have been tested and proven in combat, and this allows it to respond to the full range of these Saberni hazards and threats. Chemical. The chemical hazards consist of warfare agents, toxic industrial chemicals, and materials and threats to chemical plants. Biological. Biological covers weaponized agents, biotoxins, and endemic disease. Radiological. Radiological hazards include radiological dispersal devices, also known as dirty bombs, as well as threats to medical and industrial radioactive sources. Nuclear. Nuclear threats and weapons with nuclear capability can include improvised devices, risk to nuclear infrastructure through power plants, research reactors, and reprocessing facilities. Explosives. And finally, the E represents the full range of explosive threats, from low to high yield and captures the critical tasks our EOD soldiers perform from unexploded ordnance to improvise explosive device defeat. We have EOD soldiers that support uh, the Secret Service on almost a daily basis, providing uh, protection support for the President, the Vice President, uh, senior members of the federal government and visiting dignitaries. And that work is done both in the United States and then overseas. To confront and defeat these grave threats to our nation and its allies, the 20th Saberni Command integrates, coordinates, deploys, and provides trained and ready Saberni forces capable of conducting reconnaissance, detection, sampling, identification, assessment, and remediation operations. We have to be 
highly trained and effective and know what we're doing and work against the clock and be safe the whole time, but try to be as efficient and, and rapid as possible so that the evidence doesn't all decay away. The command also provides the U.S. Army with its only technical escort capability and conducts expeditionary laboratory analysis, decontamination, and site exploitation missions. The Bernie and whoever they send, the, the CARA teams, uh, they're professionals, they, they have the training, they have the technology, and the understanding to just come to a site and do their job. They know what they're supposed to do, they're good at doing it, and they get, and they get it done, and we can count on them to get it done. From the most pervasive weapons on the modern battlefield, improvised explosive devices, to the most dangerous, weapons of mass destruction, 20th Cyberni Command is ready to win in a complex world. The threat of Cyberni weapons being used against the United States, both here in the United States and abroad, is, is ever increasing. This is the nation's single command to deal with those threats and respond both in a crisis prevention as well as a consequence management if those weapons were ever used against us. As the Army's only unit with highly specialized Seaburn and EOD capabilities and nuclear operations officers, the 20th Cyberni Command remains trained and focused to operate effectively across the spectrum of Cyberni threats and hazards.